Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and guys we made it we're at 1800 subscribers now I think we're even I think we're almost at 1820 now but yeah I really really think we're on the we are on target for the goal of 2000 because if you've been keeping track this week we hit 1800 but we only hit 1700 last week so we're pretty much getting 100 subs a week now so by my estimates, I reckon we will hit our goal of 2,000 before the end of the year. So, yeah, let's see if we can keep that going as well. Keep that going, yeah. See if we can get, try and get 100 a week, because that would be amazing. Yeah, let's see if we can um, keep it going and try and get to 2,000 subscribers, because that's insane. 2,000 subscribers before the end of the year, because that would just be amazing. Just cannot thank you guys enough, like, for everyone who subscribed, left a like, comments on my videos. Like, just cannot, cannot thank you enough. It's just, you're, you're amazing. <laughs> like, it's, it's just awesome. But anyways... What we are doing today is we're doing an idea which one of you guys commented, I think it was a few weeks ago now, um, but I said I'll get around to doing it um, soon, but I never just, I never got around to doing it, so apologies for that, but what we'll be doing today is it's another custom solar system, but this comment is it's quite interesting, um, because it says, um, make an elemental solar system, so it's like have four planets representing an element, so fire, air, um, I think it's fire, air, gr land and was it fire air uh, yeah it's fire air ground so the earth and then water that's the um they're the elements and then um it also says um the um element that should represent the star of the solar system is um something known as the aether element which is apparently the spirit a spirit element thing so it's something, something to do with alchemy but i don't know anything about that so i'm just going to go over what this says so this should be pretty interesting so let's go into a new simulation here now this is going to be interesting so we need a star to use for this so what i'm going to do is we're not going to go any we're not going to go like to an extremely big solar system here so we're just going to have a nice little small system so what star could we use for this hmm they still need to fix this star it says red giant doesn't it still it still says red giant even though it's a blue star i don't know what the logic is with that so let's have a look here what have we got? Former Holt B, what about the regular Former Holt? Well, that's too big, I think. Yeah, it is. Um, have got any regular size? Yeah, let's use this star. Pro, Pro Procyon. I can never pronounce. I'm sorry, 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 guys. I can never pronounce. But, yeah, so let's use this as our main star. So a white, white, just a completely white star. So, going by what the comment says, this will be out the fifth element in alchemy which is known as the Aether, so A-E-T-H-E-R. So if we go ahead and enter that in now, so A-E-T-H-E-R, so like that. I remember an old mod for Minecraft called that. It was like a heaven mod, I think. Um, anyways, yeah, I haven't played Minecraft in so long now. But um, yeah, there's, there's the Aether. So then it says, um, like, have four planets represented an element, like fire, air, etc. So fire, air, earth, which is like the dirt, and then water. So let me just quickly search this, just so I'm doing it right, because I don't want to mess anything up. So if I just check the, um, no, Google, please. There we go. Okay, so the four elements. So there we go. So let's see here. Let's see. No, I don't want a game, no. Um, yeah, so it's um, fire, earth, air, and water. Okay, so I was right. So earth is like the ground, or like the just dirt and soil and stuff like that i think i don't know but so what i want to do for this i want to make this quite unique so i want to have every single of the four planets in in exactly the same orbit so i want to have them all the same distance so let's have it so what's the stars hassle zone we'll just um check up here okay so there it is so we'll have it in the green zone of course so this is this is a really interesting idea actually i really yeah thanks to the guy who commented this this is a really cool idea so so we'll start off with air first. So what I want to do for air is I think this will be the gas giant. Even though it's going to be... Yeah, I think we'll have it the same size as all the other planets. It, just so... If the four elements make up like one hole, I'd say, then it'd mean they'd all be the same size. I'm, I, I don't know. I'm, quite little, I'm not the best with all this. I don't really know. So where is my white gas giant? There it is. So I'm going to use this for air. So let's see the Haskell zone. So... Okay, so 2.75 AU. Okay, so we're going to have that there. So we're going to have this called air. So just like this. So air. So this is this represents the air. All right, so if we go down here. Okay, so we don't want it losing any material or anything like that. So just increase the albedo a bit just so it's not um, too crazy in temperature. 
And then the elements, we'll just have them... Well, since it's mostly air, I think the closest we can have to that is hydrogen. So we'll just make it quite quite rich in hydrogen. Then we'll have all the other elements quite low. So there's that. There's our first planet. So let's just delete any particles in the simulation. So there's air. So let's see. So it's a 219 day. And that's known, that's rotational period. Let's have that at one day. So to go right. So it's, yeah, 2.75 to go around the sun or the star. So there's that. So I want to have that like that. Okay, so now, what's up, so it's, f okay, so next we'll have fire, I think, yeah, we'll have fire here, so what we want to use for fire is, we're going to get a red planet, so it only makes sense we'd have fire associated with red, so we're going to have that, like that, so there's red, then we'll have the colour of the water, so water will be obviously be a water planet, so we'll just use my custom planet Pascal for that, so there's that, and then the last planet, which is dirt, I guess we'll have as a brownish sort of colour, so we'll, we'll bring back poop. <laughs> we'll bring that back from the colour solar, or the rainbow solar system, so let's use that there. Come on, 2.75. No, not 7.4, 7.5. Ah, oh, dang it, I mucked it up. <laughs> Alright, so we'll just have to manually change this, so we hit play. So we want this at 2.75, like so. Let's just turn all that down, okay, looking good. So now these guys are sh all should be sharing the same. Well, so we just check the settings here. So 2.75, it takes 3.73 years. So if we just go here, 3.74. So let's quickly turn that to 3.73. Then you as well. So 2.5 and then 3.73. And then the red one. Oh, this one's slightly different actually. So 2.75 and 2.73 like that. So let's just turn that off completely. Okay. So now... We turn off the Haskell zone so we don't need it anymore. So now we've got all the elements of the alchemy all at opposite sides of the star. So in a um, sort of um, pizza sort of shape. So imagine each planet to have one quarter of this whole circle. So we're going to have all of these exactly the same size. So let's have them quite large. So yeah, this one is water. So like that. And we are going to um, yeah, let's have it at... 15,000 kilometers in radius. That's 30 or 30,000 in diameter. So I think that's plenty or plenty of size to um, play with here. So there's that. So 1,500 or 15,000. Then we'll do the same with you. So 15,000. And we're going to call it Earth. Or, or just know that. Yeah, let's just call it Earth because, yeah, it is um, water, fire, air, and Earth. Or Earth and air, or however you want to call it. So this, this, we'll have this known as Earth. Not Earth as our planet. But just Earth. Oh, it gives it the um, white clouds of Earth, though. Okay, that's cool. Then over here, we have fire. Oops, fire. Okay, there we go. So now what we want to do with this planet is, we need to have an atmosphere here. This thing needs to be really, really hot. So let's have a, um, let's have like a Venus atmosphere on here. So let's let's give it like 70. Oh, it's around, I think Venus has around 60, 70. So how hot is this going to get? Oh, yeah, that's, that's plenty. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, so it should, we want the surf. Oh, excuse me there. We want the surface of this planet to be completely molten. So, okay, is that... Okay, a little, we need a little more temperature than that. So, lower the albedo so it reflects less light. To, and then we'll also increase the surface pressure so it gets hotter and hotter. Okay, there. so I think that's a good representation of fire. And then, obviously, with the um, colours here, we'll get rid of white and turn that to red since that's more appropriate. There we go. So, that is our fire planet because, yeah, I think that's a... That's a good representation of fire. Let's um, quickly um, yeah, have that on zero. Increase this just a little bit more. Just so it has a little more temperature. And there you go. So there's fire. Looking good. Water. Okay, we've done water. Wait, what's the size on this? We need to make this 1,500 as well. So, Or 15,000, sorry. So 15,000 like that. Oh, getting a little colder since it's bigger. Okay, we're going to have to change the settings there again. Just to make it a little bigger in size, please. Okay, is that good enough? Okay, a little more. Okay, 1,000 degrees is fine. And then the air, okay, air, we need to lower you to 15,000, like so. So a little smaller than Planet 9, I think this is. Oh, we need then we need to change the mass as well. Yeah, the mass that we need to um, do something. I think we need to make it le less dense. Yeah, we need to make it less dense, I think. And then have the mass a little higher. So let's have that on. We want this. Um, let's go with, um, let's just, just try and go 0 0.4 Jupiter's. Is that going to work? Mm. And then let's just have this at 1500. There we go. I'll say that works. How much mass is that, actually? So it's only moons in mass, but we don't want it doing that. That's the problem. So 
We'll just make it reflect all the light it receives. Is that going to help? Oh, yeah, that, okay, that helps. So if we just do that. Oops. So, yeah, if, if we do that, then it should be fine. I don't think it's losing any... Yeah, no mass is being lost here, I don't think. Uh, apparently, it is. Okay, we are losing mass, apparently, but... Overall, this should be fine. So, if we just... um, Yeah, the density is really... I don't never get density. So, if we make it 1,000, what does that do? So, that makes it smaller. So, if we increase this, does that do anything? No, I'm, I'm not good with this at all. Uh, yeah, we'll, do, we'll just leave it at 1,500. That's the closest best I can do, so... It's only got a mass of 18 moons, but... Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> oh, well. Well, I guess air is supposed to be quite light in weight, so it makes sense. It has less mass. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, so... So we've got fire. We've got water. So, yeah, water's pretty much already done. If we just go here, it's just a um, Earth-like rocky planet, so this would be the most habitable place in the system here. So, yeah, we've got... Um, we'll we'll um, increase the water just a little bit. Since it is representing water. We'll have a bit of land though. So there's water. Then if we go over here to earth. So we'll, um, yeah since it's earth it doesn't say anything about water. We'll just remove all the water completely. And then um, hide the clouds. Or hide. Actually we could just remove the atmosphere. Should we do that? Yeah let's just remove the atmosphere on this one. So and then just get rid of all the water. So we don't want any of that. And there is our earth planet. So the brown earth dirt colour. The colour of dirt and mud and stuff like that. I think that's a good representation of the of Earth. So the temperature on this doesn't matter as long as it's not too hot. So there we go. That is the first part of this done. So do you guys want a part two maybe? Because I think I ran off there. So if we just speed this up, we should have quite a nice system going on here. So we just go. There you go. Right, look at that. That's cool. So these guys are all in the same orbit. So they should never catch each other up. So if we just leave it on trails here. There you go perfect ring of planets so that's really cool i like that it's, it's simple but it's unique so should i add moons and stuff just let me know in the comments we can easily do a part two for this if you guys really want so yeah just let me know down below so yeah there we go guys so anyways hopefully you guys all enjoyed this video i know it wasn't the longest of all time but yeah just let me know if you want a part two so i don't know like, we could add moons in, we could add an asteroid belt representing each colour, so we could have a red belt for fire, a blue belt for water, a brown one for the earth, and then a white one for air, maybe? Like, just let me know. Do you want a part two? Because, yeah, this, I think this could be, a, oh, this deserves a part two, so, yeah, this, I'd say this is part of the coloured solar system series. I, I, I think I'll put it in that playlist anyway, I think it deserves it in there. And also, keep, stay tuned for the Christmas special of the coloured solar system, because that'll be coming out... I think I'll release it on Christmas Eve. No, I'll release it on Christmas Day. Why not? Or maybe the day after, Boxing Day, the 25th. Yeah, um, yes, just stay tuned for that. But anyways, hopefully you guys all enjoyed, like I said. And make sure we did hit that like button, subscribe for more helps on the journey to 2,000 subscribers before the end of the year. Because that would be amazing. And thanks for watching, I guess. Like, it's much, much appreciated. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Also, remember to let me, down, or let me know down below if you want this to be a part two. And yeah, see you in the next video. Goodbye.